Hi friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Katie and today I wanted to talk about photo printing in my planner. So back in January, this is my common planner from Sterling Ink. Back in January, I printed these photos on clear sticker paper of this, you know, kind of beautiful snowstorm that we had. And I put it here in my planner and but, you know, at the same time, I printed one of this fountain pen, you know, here, and I thought that was really fun. And then I went on to, like, never really use pictures again, um, just a lot of stickers, until I went on vacation. Until I went on vacation, and I, like, wanted to print photos from my vacation, and so, you know, here are some of those kinds of spreads. With the pictures in them. So the difference is these are actually on photo paper um, and they're beautiful. They are nicer than the um, than the previous ones I showed you but I don't have a photo printer. Um, if you want to be putting photos in your planner and you want a photo printer there are some great like little mini ones that are really nice like the um canon selfie and uh, like that kind of thing i thought about buying those i decided against it because i already own two printers <laughs> like full-size printers an inkjet and a laser jet and like I just didn't want to spend like a hundred dollars on another one. These I just, you know, got printed at my local CVS for their photo printing and they're beautiful. But the way I had done them was I made these like templates and on the day of I just drew outlines of the templates and wrote around them and it wasn't until later when I got home that I printed these out and like I had them printed. I chose them and had them printed. And that's nice, but like to do them at this size, this size right is four pictures per four by six sheet, which is fine. And this one is like uh, twice as many, eight. Um, and so I don't actually want to wait until I have four pictures to print or eight pictures to print to send them and then go like for special occasions, like on vacation, I think that makes a lot of sense, but for, um, you know, just like the mundane things of life, that's going to be too much barrier to entry for me. I want something where I can just easily spur of the moment, print them out, stick them down, call it a day. If it's going to require a lot of fussing, I'm not going to do it. And so I have an idea of a good way to make that work and I'm really excited about it. My plan is, so this is, you know, mostly for people who have like a printer and a cutting machine. In particular, I have a silhouette. Um, I don't think this is the most efficient way to print photos if you don't already have those things, although there's a lot that you can do with those things, so there's value there. But if you happen to be somebody who already owns um, a silhouette, and a printer, my idea is to print out a sheet of sticker paper with the registration marks on it. And then to pre-cut squares, and then when I want to print a picture, I don't even have to mess with the, the silhouette. The silhouette is already done. I already have a page of pre-cut squares, like not to take them up, and then all I have to do is feed them through the printer and print my photo. And that means I can do just one at a time the way I might want to when it's just, you know, a little cute mundane thing, not a big production. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that and seeing how it turns out, uh, Keep watching. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Okay, here I am. I've just opened Silhouette Studio. It's worth noting that I have paid to upgrade Silhouette Studio one level to Designer Edition. For the most part, the bulk of what I'm going to do does not require Designer Edition, but it does add these layer options, which I do find handy and I will be using, but they are 
convenience things, not necessities. So I've opened a new one and I'm going to turn the registration marks on. I have my media size set to letter, which is what I'm going to be printing on. My personal machine doesn't like me to change the registration marks from where they move, so I'm not gonna mess with those. I've learned that lesson and it stinks. All right, the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my crop. Um, my crop lines. So what size do, did I say I wanted these pictures to be? One and a half by two. So actually let's let's start not with the crop but with the actual cut lines. So I want the actual cut lines to be one and a half by two inches. There we go. And I'm going to change the color to blue. And then I want the crop lines to be just a little bigger than that. I, you know, it's a good idea in these kind of cutting circumstances to have different line colors. So I'm going to change this blue one to green. I'm going to select them both and I'm going to center them both horizontally and vertically. It seems like they already were. Now I'm going to start by organizing them in the place where the, where the uh, crop marks are just because that's easier. I'm going to copy and paste and arrange just to see how many of these I can get across. It looks like four. I want both the blue and the green. And that's probably about as good as I'm going to do. I'm going to select each of these and group them. And then I can move the right one where I want it the left one where I want it and then I can select them all and have them equally spaced horizontal here. All right, so now I've got that first set. I'm actually going to select them all and ungroup them each because I'm not going to want them grouped later. And we'll put them down here. And then we get to start deciding how fast and loose we feel like playing with the spacing, uh, like with the um, ha the hash mark areas, because you're not supposed to have things inside the hashed areas. So I'm going to delete this one and then I'm going to do control A to select everything and I'm going to move them all down. This I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get away with. So I've been able to fit 15 pictures, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and save this so I don't lose my work. All right, now I'm going to play with the layers. If you don't have them, that's fine, but I'm going to go to select by color and select all the green ones and I'm going to cut. And then this is an annoying thing about Silhouette Studio is when I paste, which it doesn't want to do. Oh, never mind. Sometimes they don't paste in the right places. Okay, so that's green, which here we can name our layers. The green, I'm also going to move it below. Again, this is just organization. We'll call green crop, and we'll call the blue that's on here cut lines. And I'm just going to lock the cut lines one because I, I don't want to be able to change those. Now, 
we can pull a picture in. All right, here's the picture that I took on my phone. It's, I've pulled it in. Oops, nope, I was on the wrong layer. I want it to be on the crop layer. But this is the kind of picture that like, I'm not gonna send to the printer. It's like too silly and too stupid for that. But it is like a fun memory that I would enjoy having as like a memory in my planner. And that is, okay, so now I'm just, I've moved it over and I'm sizing it a lot, like based on the, the blue cut lines kind of the wrong aspect ratio but I think that's good enough so I've placed it where I want it now I can select both the picture and the crop lines I can't select the cut lines because they're locked if you don't have the ability to use layers you'll have to un like hit shift and unselect make sure the blue isn't selected then you can go to the modify panel and hit crop and now it's cut down to the size of this picture. So I'm going to go ahead and print this and then I'm going to cut all of the all of the rectangles even though I only have the one picture in there. So I will be back. Okay, so I've printed it out. Um, it ended up being too dark, so I'll have to print it again, but we'll do that as our next test. So let's send this to be cut. I like to use the line cutting so you can do different colors. I am not cutting the green. The green was for cropping my image. The blue is for my actual cut lines. And I need to change this to the cut that I need for my paper so that's the online label sticker paper clear I already have the settings for that they're actually available on the website and I want to make sure the other two are not selected then I hit send and it's gonna register and make a lot of noise Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut all of the squares, rectangles. That's what's going to make this easy to like do repeat ones, I hope. But as I said, this came out too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the image effects panel and go to brightness. Oh yeah, it was, I've already done it and turn the brightness up significantly. Now, what I'm going to do is, if I were printing a whole new picture, what I would do is delete this, select it and delete it, and then bring in my new picture and do it um, exactly the way I did in terms of cropping. Because I'm using the same picture, I'm just gonna drag it over so that it fits. And then when I'm done, I'm going to delete this so that I don't print the pictures over where I have already removed the sticker. I hope that makes sense. So now, I'm going to put this through my printer again and what I'm hoping and obviously do what feels right to you in terms of your own printer and your risk tolerance but because I haven't picked the stickers up they're all still like really solidly stuck to the carrier sheet I'm going to put this back in my printer and I'm going to print this image again now lighter and I'm hoping in the future I can just go ahead and do that for all of the remaining like 13 slots and so that it can just be super quick to print a photo without really much fuss. So I'm going to go ahead and print it and I'll meet you on the flatline. Okay, so here we are. And uh, I had one slight problem, which is that my mat made the paper a little curly and 
Um, at first my printer was claiming there was jam. It wasn't that it was jammed. It was not jammed. It was just not, it was too curly to like feed properly. So I just kind of uncurled it. I think maybe I'll put this under a book or something. Um, in the meantime, it didn't have any problems with anything other than just grabbing onto this leading edge. But here you can see the um, improvement that changing that brightness had. But also you can see that we got stickers. Hopefully my cut settings were correct. Yep. So here's, here's sticker one and sticker two. I pulled out these tweezers and then I'm not using them. Come on. I might need to sharpen my blade a little. But there, I've got my sticker. I can just put it in. The offset here is so that you, usually your printer is not perfect about cut like feeding the sheet exactly the same way every time. Um, if you know that your printer is particularly bad about that, you might want to make your offset um, cropping bigger, even bigger, and that will give you more room to have things not be perfect but this went through just fine it's already pre-cut that means that the next time i want to print a photo um all i have to do is pull up that same file i'll save it somewhere safe i also saved a version that just doesn't have the photos in it so that when i use all 14 i can you know start over anew without doing it um but when i want to print a new photo all i have to do is pick up pull up that um, file, delete old pictures. Honestly, I could delete the old pictures now. Place the new picture in the next slot where I want it, run it through the printer. The cutting is already done. I kind of expect the whole thing would take me somewhere around three minutes, which, you know, I don't know how long it takes to do the, um, like the Canon selfies or the Ivy or um, any of those other things. But if it's faster than that, it's probably not by much. So, and you know, I can use what I already have, which I really like, and it won't add much bulk to my planner. So I hope you found this helpful. If you've got a silhouette, I say, give it a try. You don't have to use clear sticker paper. It would have worked with um, white paper too. Uh, to my Cricut users, good luck. Maybe something like this would work probably, but I, I don't know. I, I don't have any experience. So anyway, go forth and journal. Have a good time. Bye friends.